I like magnetic toys very much, and uh, here's two interesting new magnetic effects which I haven't come across before or any, very recently. This one is called diamagnetism, and it's a, a block with lots of neodymium magnets on it. But they're laid out in a matrix rather like a, a chessboard, north, south, north, south, but then south, north, south, north, the second row. And that's important in order to make the effect work. Here we have a little box of little floating things which are a kind of um, very pure graphite called pyrolytic graphite and it floats above the surface about about uh, a, a half a millimetre above it I would say and it's being held up by the repulsion force of this diamagnetic effect. The, the, the friend who made this is trying to make a reenactment of that lovely scene in the famous 1895 book Flatland where these are little male and the female people interacting in this two-dimensional world. So it's a wonderful example of diamagnetic levitation, beautifully done. And the other one, which is very recent indeed, is correlated magnetism. And this is an extraordinary material. Here's a little bit of field paper to show the very strange arrangement of magnets that are occurring in this, in this surface, a series of, of north, south, and a very, very weird pattern and shape. And it's impregnated in it. And then the effect is extraordinary. When they're brought together like this, it's almost impossible to pull them apart. I really can't do it. If I twist it, which is okay, it allows torsion. And now when it's in that mode, 180 degrees apart, I can pull it apart quite readily. So there's a long throw and short throw going on, they call it. The long throw is the fact that it's being attracted in the first place, but in the short throw, there's going to be some very strong repulsion forces in it, which will come into force when it's like that, but they're absent when it's like this, and then it's just impossible to pull apart. So. Two wonderful new magnetic phenomenon. This one not so old, not so new, but this one is extremely new and they're both wonderful.